my name's Steve Baker, and I'm uh, very much an amateur photographer, still kind of learning what I'm, what I'm up to all the time. But I've tried a few things, and I've learned a few uh, new skills uh, recently. So I just want to show something that I've done. Um, I recently joined uh, a website called, or a Facebook group called The Art of Portrait, Portrait Photography, and um, people have been quite kind about some of my pictures, particularly this one of my dad has, has amazingly got 1.2 thousand likes, which just astonished me. Um, but uh, this picture, uh, which I, I took in the Gambia in, in Africa in 2011, um, is one that's been quite popular. And a number of people have been asking me how I actually um, made this. Um, now, I've never done a tutorial video before and, and don't really, uh, you know, not really practiced in that kind of thing. But I thought I'd show um, sort of half a tutorial video. I, I'll, I'll show, you, show you the file uh, that I, I worked on for this and um, how I went about um, basically uh, developing it. So the original picture uh, looks like this. Um, and you can see, like any sort of um, normal photo file, it's quite flat. Um, it's not done with any impressive camera or anything like that. It's, it's actually, because it's quite a time ago and I, and I was just um, learning, it was, it was done with a Panasonic G1, that's a Micro Four Thirds camera. Um, so the quality is, is fine, but it's, not, it's nothing special. Um, and uh, I took it into Photoshop and basically as I said, that's, that's where it kind of ended up. I'll close that for a second, show you where um, it uh, ended so, or started. So this is basically it uh, kind of cropped. And uh, the first thing I did with this is um, I used a filter on it and the filter is uh, in the, the Nick collection, which if you don't know it is is a, a free set of filters that you can get. Um, and uh, the filter I use is called Color Effects Pro. Now I've been using this for uh, quite a time. Um, and over what I do over time is I use a number of the different um, uh, different filters in there. Uh, you can have, have a look at the, um, the general filters. There's a whole set of different things that you can use. And I tend to build them into recipes. Um, and some of these recipes, what I'm doing is I'm trying to imitate uh, the looks of various different um, photographers. So I made one, a recipe that is, is based on Steve McCurry, uh, who's an amazing photographer. Um, obviously, this isn't a patch on what he does. Um, but it's got a number of different things in here. If I take them all off one by one, you can see uh, what each of them is doing. So I've got a vignette filter on here. First of all, you can see the vignette is is obviously just vignetting. It's uh, darkening the, the outsides a little bit. Uh, then I've got a, a thing called contrast only. Uh, you can see the effect that's quite strong. And um, I've literally, I've done very little sort of messing around with it. I've just basically put a 50% contrast only on there. Uh, I've got a detail extractor. Look at um, probably a fairly mild change you're seeing there. And I've put a skylight filter on, which is a slight sort of warming filter. Okay, uh, I'm not going to go okay on there because I've got one I made earlier. Um, but I'll show you this now with um, the uh, filter on. Okay, so this is without with. Um, now what you're going to see in all these, and this is a big part of what I do, um, is I mask what I'm doing. But before I did that, in this particular case, what I did, and this is a big part of, of my approach sometimes, is I actually, rather than just putting that layer on, I multiplied that layer. That's a blending mode, and there's lots of tutorials you can find online that explain what that actually is. But I've multiplied it. Look at the difference between that and the normal. And the multiply is, is kind of basically um, darkening a lot of the, the colors, and it's also then um, uh, as I say, bring up more saturation. A lot of people comment about how saturated this picture looks in, in the, the final version that I made. Um, now, what I then do, as I say, is I'm masking these pictures. And you can see here, uh, this is my mask. And I basically, I have just, I've taken this effect and with a paintbrush, uh, paintbrush here, I'm basically uh, wiping out part of that effect so you can see that here, uh, again, without, with. And you can see I'm revealing basically down beneath that to some 
of the original picture, like that. Okay, um, and you'll see as I go through, I've basically got a number of different effects I do. So I do I do a lot of kind of incremental stuff where I'm basically trying to increase the contrast using curves layers um, and painting that effect in or out. So here I've got a curves layer, quite a strong one. You can see that up here. It's a very strong bit of light I've added on. I didn't want that on anything like all of it. I just wanted that on some bits of it. So what I've did that, done this time, it's actually a negative mask. Um, if I go to um, here, uh, you can see you can invert a mask. And so, this, so basically instead of painting gaps in the mask, I've inverted the mask and using a white paintbrush, I've literally just painted a couple of places, just up here and here where I'm revealing that kind of level of light. And you see as I go through these layers, I've done the same kind of thing a few times. So here's another one. This is a darkened mask. And this time, if I, um, if you look what I've done, I basically, I was trying to create my own kind of vignette. Um, but I've just uh, basically left that darken on in only a few places. Here's another curve. And this one, quite a subtle one, but I've just done on a few places. Here's another one. And quite a strong one there. And you can see I've blown out bits of the image there. So with my mask, I've taken it down slightly. And there's a whole bunch of these. Here's the next one. Again, darkening mask. And I've got I've basically painted some of it out. And here's another one. Again, quite a lot blown out here. But with my uh, mask, um, I've taken out the effect and only really added it in a few places. So I get to a kind of level where I'm quite happy with a lot of the picture. Um, so I'm going to do a different kind of adjustment now. So I basically uh, stamped the whole of the picture into a single image, and that's identical basically. And what I'm now doing is a different effect. So I actually, for this, used um, a, another of the Nick filters, which is Viveza. Um, and in Viveza, what I did is I added quite a lot of structure. You can see again, quite a lot of structure there, but I don't like it on the whole of the image. Um, I want to make that a little bit subtler, so I take it off some of the image. And then I go back to the same kind of effects as I was doing before, and I put another curves layer on, another bit of darkening, but I didn't want it on all of the image. And then we're getting close to the end here. Um, I basically um, stamped it again, so there's my full version. And my final one is, I like to do a little bit of sharpening on the eyes. Um, and uh, I don't, one of my earlier layers, I brightened the eyes a little bit, but I've just sharpened the eyes here. And I literally do that using the sharpening thing here. Um, and so I've got a layer on here. Um, where I've sharpened. You actually probably can't even see that um, on a kind of YouTube display, but there's a bit of sharpening added in there. And that's the whole of, of what I did. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. There we go.